In this video, I will show how to download and install MySQL database and MySQL Workbench on Windows 11. So, let's get started. At first, open your favorite web browser and search for MySQL. Browse this URL. Click on Downloads. Scroll down. Then click on MySQL Community. Okay. Now I am going to download MySQL Community Server. It is free. And also I am going to download MySQL Workbench. Now select the version that you want to download. I am going to download the LTS version but this is the latest version of my sql community server okay then select the operating system for windows operating system select microsoft windows okay then click on the download button to download windows installer okay you can download MSI installer or zip archive. I already have downloaded it on my machine. And then download MySQL Workbench. Select the operating system, Windows. And then click on this download link to download MySQL Workbench Windows installer. Okay. I already have downloaded it on my machine. After a successful download, navigate to the download folder. Okay. At first, I am going to install my SQL database server. So, open this installer file. If you get this message, this application requires Visual Studio 2019 64-bit redistributable. Please install the redistributable, then run this installer again. Click on OK. Finish and then browse this URL and download the latest Microsoft Visual C++ redistributable version and install this open and accept the license terms and agreement if you get a message from user account control do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device select yes it may take a while for installing you must restart your computer before you can use the software Click on the restart button. After restarting the computer, navigate to download folder and open MySQL installer. The setup wizard will install MySQL server on your computer. Click next to continue or cancel to exit the setup wizard. Now accept the terms in the license agreement, then click on next. Now choose setup type that best suits your needs. I am going to select complete type. The setup wizard is ready to begin installation. Now click on the install button. If you get a message from user account control, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Select yes. 
it may take a while for installing my SQL server check this box and click on finish if you get a message from user account control do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device select yes that's it with this wizard you will be able to configure your recent mysql server installation simply click next when you are ready to proceed if you want to store data to a different directory click on this three dot icon and browse the directory where you want to store the data okay click on next choose the correct server configuration type for this mysql server installation these settings will define how much server resources are assigned to the mysql server instance i am going to select the development computer configuration type this is development computer and many other applications will be installed on it a minimal amount of memory will be used by mysql in the connectivity section use the following controls to select how you would like to connect to this server this is the port number okay click on next i am going to enter a password for a root user click on next to configure my sql server as a windows service check this box you can change the windows service name you can write any name here if you want to start the mysql server at system startup check this box otherwise uncheck okay the mysql server needs to run under a given user account based on the security requirements of your system you need to pick one of the options below standard system account or custom user select this option because this is recommended for most scenarios click on next now select the server file permissions option i am going to select the first option okay then click on next my sql databases samples can be installed or removed as part of this configuration these samples provide test data to use when developing applications for the my sql ecosystem you can select the database that should be created otherwise you can leave this option then click on next now apply the configuration click execute to apply the changes it may take a while for initializing database updating permissions for the data folder and related server files that's it the configuration for mysql server was successful click finish to continue that's it configuration completed successfully click on finish let's verify the mysql installation write mysql and open mysql command line client now enter the password for the root user that's it
MySQL database server installed successfully on Windows 11 operating system. Now I am going to install MySQL Workbench Community Edition. Open this installer file. The setup wizard will install MySQL Workbench. Click on Next. Now select the destination folder. This is the default destination folder where the MySQL Workbench will be installed. If you want to change this folder, click on the Change button and browse the folder where you want to install the MySQL Workbench. Then click on Next. Now choose the setup type that best suits your needs. I am going to select the first option, then click on next. The setup wizard is ready to begin installation. Finally click on install button. If you get a message from user account control, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device, select yes. It may take a while for installing MySQL Workbench. That's it. Setup has finished installing MySQL Workbench. If you want to launch MySQL Workbench right now, check this box and then click on Finish. Otherwise, uncheck, then click on Finish. I am going to launch MySQL Workbench right now. Now connect the MySQL server with MySQL Workbench. Click here and then enter the password for the root user. That's it. Now you are able to access MySQL server from MySQL Workbench. Now I am going to create a new database on MySQL server from MySQL Workbench using SQL Query. Execute the selected portion of the script database created successfully. That's it. If you like this video, like, comment and share. Thank you so much for watching this video.